This video will cover how to set up the ICX voting machine, how to open and close the polls, and how to break down the voting machine at the end of the day. Set up the tables according to the layout diagram in your accordion file. The 5-foot tables are for the ICX voting machines. The 6-foot tables are for the kiosk. You can also use a 6-foot table for the team leader table. It is very important that you set up your site according to the layout diagram. Election staff have visited the site and determined the best layout according to location of data ports and power outlets. Assemble the two privacy booths and curtains. Unfold the side panels and open slightly more than 90 degrees. Lift up the bottom panel and look for the latches on the bottom side of the panel. Bring the panel to an even level with the side panels to secure the latches. Install the curtain. The curtain may be turned backwards for all voters to use, or the curtain may be turned around for an ADA voter to use to ensure their privacy. Verify that the ICX voting machine cart and storage boxes are padlocked. Using the key in the key envelope, unlock the voting machine cart and storage boxes. Verify that the seal number on the voting machine cart matches the seal number on the seal report. Also verify that the two seals on each kiosk match the seal numbers on the seal report. Cut the seals on the kiosks so that the kiosk specialist may start setting them up. Loosen the cargo strap, remove the privacy panels, and cut the seal on the ICX machine cart. Verify the machine serial numbers match those listed on the polling place statement. Serial numbers are visible when you open the cart cover. Using the silver handles, lift voting machines out of the cart, set two voting machines on each 5-foot table, and one inside each ADA booth. Open the kickstand on each ICX voting machine. Take the printers out of the storage box. Set one printer to the right of each ICX voting machine. Take the printers out of the bags and place the empty bags into the storage box. Set the printers upright on their legs. Each voting machine and printer must be locked with a security cable. If some of your printers do not have a hole, use this method to lock the security cable. If you are setting up the day before the election, stop at this point. Lock the storage boxes. The rest of the procedures will be done on election morning. Also, if setting up the day before, leave the kiosk sealed and inside the storage box until election morning. Find the cell phones inside the same storage box as the kiosks. They are stored inside a plastic shoe box. Turn the cell phones on immediately. Verify the seal numbers on all four doors of the ICX match the numbers on the seal report. The seal report is color coded to match the seal colors. Verify the seal numbers on the printers match the seal numbers on the seal report. Also check the spare printers. 
Cut the seal on the door labeled Power Printer and the door labeled ATI LED. Open the door labeled Power Printer and plug in the power cable. Connect the printer. There are two cables. The USB cable is plugged into the USB port. The other cable is a two-part cable. The shorter part of the cable is connected to the ICX. Take the other part from the printer and connect with the shorter cable. Open the door labeled ATI LED and plug in the LED light into the USB port. Run the cable through the hole in the door. For the two ADA machines in the same door, plug in the audio unit. There are two cables. Plug the USB cable into the USB port and the audio jack into the green socket at the top of this panel. Run the cables through the hole in the door. Connect the audio jack to the audio unit and connect the headset to the unit. Break the seal on the door labeled battery. Pull the battery slightly out. Take out the white paper strip and push the battery in all the way. The ICX voting machine may turn on automatically when you push in the battery. If the ICX does not turn on automatically, there is a small power button inside the power printer door right under the power cable. Push and hold the button in for a few seconds until the screen turns on. Seal the doors labeled battery and ATI LED with an orange seal. You do not need to record the seal numbers. The power printer door may stay open since the cables make it hard to close the door without bending the cables. Assemble the privacy panels for each ICX machine. Place the golf tees into the holes on the table. Set the privacy panels on the table with the back side up against the golf tees to assist with stability. Clip the two privacy panels together on the table. This will also help to keep them more stable. Attach the LED light to the back of each privacy panel. The message, please insert your authorization card into the card reader, will appear at the bottom of the screen. Insert a Team Leader card and enter the PIN number. The Team Leader cards are in a small cardboard box inside the Team Leader crate. The Team Leader PIN is in the accordion file under Passwords. Confirm the date and time by pressing Confirm. The time on the ICX must be 5 minutes ahead of the time on the kiosk, and the date must be correct. If either is not correct, stop. Continue to set up other machines, making sure the date is correct and the time is 5 minutes ahead of the kiosk. Call the warehouse to correct the date or time on the machine that was incorrect. Confirm the public counter is zero. Check both the AVS controller checkbox for audio voting and the manual activation checkbox. This way all machines are set up for both if needed. Press on Open Poll. A confirmation message will appear. Press Yes. The screen will now show open under Poll Status and the small lock will be unlocked. Touch Print Report. The zero report will begin printing. Do not touch either of the other two buttons. Do not pull out the team leader card until the printer is finished printing the zero report. 
Press OK when printing is complete and pull out the team leader card. The voting machines are now ready to receive voters. The LED lights should be lit green. Write the ending count on the polling place statement. The ending count can be found at the bottom left of the screen. Insert a team leader card and enter the PIN number. Press on Close Poll. A confirmation window will appear. Press Yes. The poll status will now say Closed and the small lock will be locked. Touch Print Report. The results report will start printing. Do not touch either of the other buttons. Do not pull out the team leader card until the results report is finished printing. Press OK when printing is complete. Power off the ICX machine by pressing the red power button on the bottom right of the screen. A confirmation window will appear. Press Yes. The ICX will shut down. Pull out the Team Leader card after machine has shut down. Place the Team Leader cards back into the cardboard box. Remove the LED light and disassemble the privacy panels. Break the seal on the door labeled Results and remove the flash drive from each ICX voting machine. Place the flash drives inside the transfer case. Make sure you have one flash drive for each voting machine. Do not seal the transfer case yet. Unlock and remove the security cable from each voting machine. Remove the printers and place them inside the correct carrying case. The tag number on the case should match the number on the back of the printer. Remove the power cables and place them back inside the ICX cart. Remove the LED lights, place them inside the small black bag, and place the bag inside the ICX cart. Seal the three open doors with an orange seal. The results door, the ATI LED door, and the power printer door. You do not have to record these seal numbers. Fold the kickstand on each voting machine and using the silver handle, place the machines inside the voting machine cart. Make sure you place the serial numbers of the machines in the proper cart. Serial numbers range is labeled on the bottom of the cart. Place in numerical order from low to high, left to right. Complete the transfer case certificate and sign the seal report. Place the transfer case certificate and seal report inside the transfer case. Use the two seals you recorded on the transfer case certificate to seal the case. Close the zipper on the ICX cart and seal with a thick wire seal. Pull the seal all the way through until it is tight. You do not have to record the seal number. Padlock the cable to the ICX cart handle. Place the privacy panels on top of the ICX cart and secure with the cargo strap, using the brackets to prevent the cargo strap from bending the panels. There should be 10 privacy panels per voting machine cart. This completes the ICX voting machine video. Thank you for watching.